Selamat pagi semua. Dalam video hari ini, saya sangat teruja kerana me and Zuleika are going to the mosque. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at you. You look so beautiful. Oh my gosh. So we're gonna wear hijab today. My first time ever wearing like a proper hijab. Like if you guys remember Fazi's wedding, when a certain someone, me, turned round, you could literally see my hair at the back. Like, I just did not do it well at all. So, Zuleika is kindly gonna help me today to wear hijab and then show me around the mall. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm literally so excited. Any last minute do's, do <laughs> Nope. You're just gonna roll it. All right, let's do it. <laughs> and also guys, oh my God, Zuleika brought so many baju kurong <laughs> options and scarf options. I'm just so excited. We just need to get started, right? Yes. All right guys, Dom, let's go. All right guys, step one, baju kurong. I actually have a big scrunchie. Yes. My best. friend gifted me one for Christmas. Let me show you guys. And this is actually from Petal Scrunchies, by the way, guys, which is my friend's friend scrunchies. So shout out to them. Like put it in and then you like pull it back like that. Just like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like like this. Yes. All over. Yes, over your bun. <laughs> You look like a Russian Muslim somehow. Oh! <laughs> this is the first style that I prefer. Okay, you honestly do whatever you think is best. I just do my girl. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can be like a part time hijab model to be honest. <laughs> Oh my god, still my cousin Panya. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, my first Perfect. ever. How do you feel? You feel secure? Yes, I feel so secure. This is so great. Ain't no one gonna see my hair all day. I'm just, mm, I feel so secure. Yes, it's really tight. If it's too tight, you can't breathe or anything, let me know. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, thank you so much. We made it to the mosque, but it's so Assalamualaikum. <laughs> but it's so rainy today. Okay, we're actually going to the tourist entrance, which is kind of funny, right? All right, here we go. All right, guys. If we weren't prepared for the mosque, we would have to wear this little number here. Um, we are at the tourist entrance. We're gonna go up there. Let's go inside. We're entering the mosque. We have taking our shoes off and as I say we're entering the tourist section because by all means I'm still a tourist. <laughs> all of this will be filled with people praying. Wow! Like, you know how Muslims pray we have to stand side by side and really close. Yes. And you will see like lines and lines of people just standing here praying. Wow. What a beautiful space. It's like open plan. Okay, make a donation. We just had like a huge, huge chat with these Australian, British and actually Malaysian who converted to Islam. Before I say anything, what do you think? What are your thoughts? I think the way they deliver it is the right way, which means they convey, not to convince. I feel mm -hmm. comfortable the way they say things, explain things. I feel that's the right teaching of Islam, because Islam never forces you to do anything. Mm. This is just a way of life. And they make me feel comfortable, and their answers are satisfying. Good. Yeah, what do you think? I think, honestly, 
nice there was a lot of information at the start that mm. I was like okay okay like actually I know like maybe I didn't know like specifics like like I don't know the technical terms but like I know you know what yeah. I mean but um no it was really nice in the end it was a calm conversation and everyone's path will be different if they choose to accept Islam so yeah very interesting and nice that they're here obviously for like people who are not Malaysian not Muslim it could definitely be a very nice way to talk with someone who is converted from Christianity to Islam very interesting indeed so what are we doing now we're gonna just walk around some more right the woman Oh my goodness. Okay, let's let's go. I've never ever watched the prayers before. And it was so interesting seeing everyone line up and do their prayers and there's like a space between the first call to prayer and the actual start, right? You said where everyone goes and like washes. And you have to wash it. Hands, okay. your mouth, oh. the face, your hand to your elbow, your forehead, the back of your neck. Oh my goodness. Foot. What if you're wearing makeup? You have to remove it. That's why when they ask you to, if you want to pray, I'm like, you're going to watch because I don't want you to remove it. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. That means that women have to reapply makeup five yes. times a day. Yes. That's quite a lot, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. But some of them, just like, just like my mom, she will remove it and just apply lipstick after. Right, okay, sure. So there's ways around it. But every day, what if you want a full face of makeup? Oh girl, I like, love it for makeup. <laughs> like for real, you have to remove everything. Yes. What if you just dampen the water over the... It doesn't touch the skin. And so like I says, no. So, yeah. interesting. Okay, so we're gonna. That's have why Muslims can't have tattoos. Because you can't remove it. Yeah, because the water doesn't really get to the skin on the skin. Makes sense. You know, everything in Islam has a reasoning behind it. You yes. know, there's and always. And they're too, because the water doesn't get to the nails. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's why, because it, they really like practice cleanliness. Yes. So everything has to be clean. We have to cut our nails every Friday. Ah. Okay. So now is something that prophets do that we practice as well. Interesting. There's yeah, very interesting. Okay. Right. Shall we continue walking around? Yes. Let's do it. We came downstairs to a little part of. By the way, did I even say we're at Masjid Jami? No, we're at the National Mosque. <laughs> Okay, never mind, moving on. Um, we came down to a little kind of like women's museum. Yeah. We're like learning about how women are valued in Islam. And I have a little club booklet here. And also got gifted a Quran today, my first ever Quran. I've never read the Quran in English. Look at him, is he not the cute little thing? So I'll definitely need to have a little read through that. I love that. Mm -hmm. You're fun. It's your mother always first, then the father. There's a song. Who should I give my love to? My respect and my arms. After Allah and Rasulullah comes your mother. Who next your mother? Who next your mother? And then your father. Aww. Yeah, that's how, that's really how much love. Islam respects women. Allah loves his mom, right? Yes, very much. All right, guys, there we have it. My day wearing first hijab ever, going to the mosque with Zuleika, actually seeing what happens in the mosque, not yes. just visiting, but actually you tell me and show me around. Yeah, you get to catch the super prayers. Yes, it was super interesting to be here. Everyone's super friendly. Yes. And Obviously, like already on my journey, I already learned so much about Islam already. But it was very interesting to come here today and actually see it almost in practice. So yeah, I would definitely recommend anyone to come to National Mosque is where we are. Because yeah, they have the women exhibition, so it's really yes. good for you to like really see how women treat it in Islam. You're not oppressed. That's right, it's not what the West says. Some people might be misinformed and miseducated. But that's okay, you can still be educated. And uh, yeah, guys, push yourself out your limits. Read, be educated, get to your local mosque. Check it out, why not, right? This mosque is very beautiful. Thank you so much for bringing me here today, my love. 
guys. Cheers, my Cassie, for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.